Hey guys, CK here, and um, it's time for the first of uh, several tutorials for effects that I use in my Mono for 3 montage. And um, I uploaded the speed art where you could um, request some tutorials that I, like you wanted me to make. And um, I'm going to start off with Killer Bird's request, which is 3D text reflection and building up good lights. So many people have problems with this, you know, making it look good and like giving the text some good reflections and stuff. So I'm going to try to help you and work with that. So the first thing, um, of course, open your Cinema 40. And um, um, some people know, don't like don't know about the small techniques and like tips that help you get good reflections. And one of them is using planes with luminance on them. And I'm just going to show you how that works. Okay, so, oh shit. There you go. Uh, in your Cinema 40, uh, you're gonna have to make text, and I just made a tracer. That's nice. All right, mode text. There we go. <coughs> All right. Um, type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in CK here, or no, I'm just gonna type Black Ops CK to make it a bit longer, like that. Um, choose the font that you want. Yeah, let's just use that for now. Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do after you made your text is to go to the caps tag in Cinema 4D. Set the uh, caps and roundings start to fillet cap and the end tag to fillet cap as well. Now um, you will see how the edges of the text become a bit rounded about here. Yeah, just watch the text while I turn it on and off and you'll see how it like rounds off like that. And um, if you want a more smoother round off, then you can set these steps to 100 and set the radius down to 2, for example, and do the same thing with the other one. You should have both of these um, the same, like on the both, the start and the end. And uh, now you can see that we get like a smooth, smooth edges on our text. So that's basically what, um, you should definitely do that. That's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a small tip for those who are new to Cinema 4D using caps to get better reflections and um yeah so when you've done that you want to find a material that you can use for your text and i'm just going to go ahead and load some of my uh, materials that i have in a preset pack so um i i might be giving away some materials for you guys um they might be <laughs> in the description if i decide to give you some and um all right just wait until my uh, content browser opens here and also, some people don't even know how to use Lightrooms in Cinema 4D either. Um, there are many free Lightrooms, like on YouTube and Google, that you can download. That also helps you a lot. But that's just one part of um, like getting a good looking text. Um, one thing is the lighting, and the other thing is the materials that you use. Because you have to make it look smooth, and uh, it has to fit the surroundings, if you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I'm going to try to use some of, um, well, let's see, nope, that's the wrong pack, uh, Marco Arts, uh, he has some very nice packs, and um, they are free, I think, I'm sorry, um, I think they're free, at least one of them, and um, they are, they contain a lot of really good materials that you can, like, modify and make them look absolutely good, <laughs> sorry, absolutely, like, nice looking and many of these are very good as they are like already but I prefer to modify them to make them look exactly the way I want them to so we can just like load in a few of these materials here like so alright so now you can just like drag on one of these materials to your text and just render this out oh that's very basic uh, let's see let's try to change the projection spatial and seamless Alright, that looks fair, but let's sorry, let's let's go with blue instead. So, um, on the many materials, you have to change the material itself to make it look good, like in the settings here. Um, I can just render out the scene so you can like just check the material. You see that it's like it is pretty clean already, but sometimes they don't look good when you just drag them on there. So then you're gonna have to like click the material. I'm gonna change the projection to spatial and put seamless on. And um it doesn't change that much here as you see, but it does on many other materials, so it's uh I don't know, it's it's like a small tip again. 
putting the projection to spatial and putting on seamless. Alright, so now you have your text. Um, the first thing you want to do to um, make a good lighting is create a plane like that and then make the plane big about that much bigger than the text itself that should be alright and uh, make a new material by double clicking in this area and um, open up the materials or oh, well open up your new material and uh, select the luminance tag that's all you have to do like just click that box there and then you see that it'll be bright white like that so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna copy this uh, plane control C control V and then drag one of the copies out here and then control C control V and then drag the other one out there so now we have three planes basically and what we're gonna want to do is um, rotate the outer planes like that and then just adjust it a bit so it goes like that it kind of overlaps a little bit then do the same thing with this one just rotate it a bit and then move it down again like that okay so now I see like we have this arc well not exactly an arc but <laughs> it's at least a shape so now you can select all your planes and move them all up like so that will then um, create a much better reflective light um, we can render this out now and you see that it like you get these uh, it shines on um, the cap edges like this and I think it looks pretty cool and if you I can just show you now if you disable the planes then that reflection kind of goes away so um, yeah that, that's one thing um, using planes with the luminance material on them to create better reflections on the text caps so um, I don't know you get these like shines it makes it look more clean and uh, that's that's one of the things that you definitely should uh, think about if you're going to make a text in Cinema 40 or at all, like making uh, using planes with luminance which are on them to get good reflections. Okay, so the second thing you can do is um, use light rooms. Now let me just delete these three planes, and I'm going to go to YouTube and search for light rooms. Um, Cinema 40 free light room. Okay, so here's one. And um let's see, let's just check the video first if he has pictures of it. Okay, like you can see that it's a room with um planes and then luminance planes that's um on like the roof of the room. So let's download that. And uh I don't know, like I don't even know how much better the light rooms are than just using planes I've never like done any compare uh, comparisons but anyways uh, let's just check it out so now I have it downloaded here um, we're gonna go into Cinema 4D again and go file and then merge because if you select merge then it merges both the cin like this Cinema 4D that you're working on and a new file so it will basically put the light room inside this um, Cinema 4D project so go to your downloads and um, there we go there's a room now you're gonna want to remove these uh, these cubes that he's put in here and also the uh, text that he has let's see where is that text oops wow I, I can't find the text oh my god there we go okay so if I just zoom out you see that we have this box and um we have we have these planes with luminance on them and also a sky with luminance and uh yeah luminance is basically the trick to get good reflections. So if we drag our text up here and then render this scene out, let's just do it from another angle so you can see the caps a bit better. See like that. Now see that it will be much brighter than before. But also that can be a bit too bright, so so uh, what you can do then to like I don't know lower the uh, amount of light of it is just to set the intensity on the main light that we have in the middle of the scene down. So now you see that it's darker than earlier, and um, you can even you you can go as low as you want, but you need 
you need a bit of light to get that good looking reflection on it. But I prefer using the three luminance planes instead of doing this because uh, as you see, you know, you get these, um, well, you can see at the O, like it's mostly covered in white due to the planes, like sometimes it doesn't look very good. Um, let's see how it looks from the front. Alright, there's a, like, <laughs> it's different from different angles, so you just have to find, like, what, what you need, or, like, what you personally need in the scene that you're making. So, um, those were my main tips on uh, lighting and uh, reflection in Cinema 40 using text. And I'm CK, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.